How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, now known as McDougal. They say there's two things you can't avoid in life, death and taxes. Wise guys don't pay taxes, which only leaves death. Back in the old neighborhood, the funeral home was doing great business. The guy who ran the place was rolling in dough, strutted around like he owned a freaking neighborhood. So, we took over the joint. You're fired. <laughs> First, it was great, but after a while, my guys were so busy working funerals, none of them were out on the street causing the funerals. I realized you can be a gangster or an undertaker, but you can't be both. Now I live in Regina, Saskatchewan, which is about as much fun as a funeral home. And it's got more stiffs. <laughs> I actually find Regina relaxing. Petey, this town's D.O.A. Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. I'm sick and tired of your shenanigans. Every time you and Cheech get into one of your mishaps, Canadian taxpayers have to foot the bill. You're making a mountain out of moleskin, McCool. Calm down. I will not. You are on very thin ice here, Jimmy. Okay, okay, I see what this is about. How much we talking? That is hardly going to cover the cost of this latest debacle. What debacle? It's a couple of cows. This is gonna be great. We're gonna have steak on demand. I pumped them full of steroids, so they're extra beefy. Sorry, Jimmy, but my superiors were very clear on the matter. One more mistake, one more hijink, one more incident, and you will be expelled from witness protection. Good day to you, sir. For Canada! where there is a limit to the taxpayer's goodwill. You guys won't believe what happened. Petey got a date? Pfft, no, I got a summer job. No way. Good for you, kid. I remember my first job. I made a mint off that blue-tinted peanut brittle. What kind of job is it? That's what I want to know, but Teresa won't tell me. Well, I could tell you, or I could show you. I don't like this. Suppose her summer job is whacking us. You been drinking paint dinner again? Think about it. She tricks us with this BS job story, drives us to the middle of nowhere, and pow! Remind me to compliment her before I put one in a temple. That's my firstborn you're talking about. If anyone's gonna shoot her, it'll be me. All right, take off the blindfolds. Holy crap, we're all the way back in New York. Teresa, were you speeding? What did we say about speeding, young lady? It's like a dream, except Mama's not chasing me with the knife. I knew it, she set us up. Ah, it's good to be back. And cut. What? That's a wrap! We're not actually in New York. I got a job on a big Hollywood movie filming right here in Regina. So this is a set? What's the movie? It's called Wise Guys vs. Aliens. That sounds arty farty. Wait, was there a casting couch involved when you got hired? No, I'm just an assistant. It's actually a really easy job. Standing around all day sure is hard on your feet. Please, take my chair. I'll sit on the floor. Oh, thanks, Mr. Spielberg. I better get to work. I got ten long hours of sitting, eating, and texting ahead of me. Kid sounds like an old pro already. Come on, let's take a look around. Wait, I know this door. Rizzo! 
Open up or I'll break your legs. You still owe me a C note. Rizzo! Rizzo! Rizzo's been dead for 10 years, you moron! Nice try, Rizzo. What do you want, Kojak? I ain't touching that. What is it? I'm talking to you, Professor X. Wait, Gina, that's a Buddhist monk. He don't talk. I think he's on mute. It's called a vow of silence. Dear parent or guardian, a vision has foretold that a child in this home may be the reincarnation of the Bali Lama. The who, the what now? The Bali Lama. It's just like the Dalai Lama, except from Bali. Wow, I always knew I was special, but not this special. I am honored. What? Her? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. High priest will soon arrive to determine the veracity of the vision. Please prepare. I ain't giving no priest no eye test, you got it? Now get the hell out of here! Jackpot. 50 G's. That's Indonesian money. It's only worth five bucks. Says the guy who is not the Baldi Lama. <laughs> Jesus! Canadian coffee tastes like dishwater filtered through dirty underpants. Get me an espresso! Mm. You know, I could get used to all this movie magic. And by magic, I mean free sandwiches. Hey, look at this. I've been here 10 minutes, and already I got a trailer. Why do you get a trailer? What kind of low-rent flick is this? Hey, get out of my trailer. If anyone should be banging a bimbo in that Winnebago, it's me. Relax. It's probably just some guy with the same name as you. You mean like my evil twin? Cheech, look back on your life. If you was twins, you would not be the good one. Freaking goody two shoes, always oh, stealing my girls. Did I ever tell you ladies about the time when my nephew, Jimmy Falcone, whacked the DA with a frozen fish? We knew the cops were gonna be onto us, so to get rid of the evidence, we ate the fish! Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, speaking of what just happened? I never met that guy in my life, and I never killed nobody with a fish. I just fed him to live ones. This is identical theft. That son of a bitch is pretending he's me! And he's not even as handsome. Yo, Petey, I've been thinking about it. I'm gonna do this thing. You know, with uh, butt monkeys. Buddhist monks. Yeah, that's the one. Religion's a cash grab, and I want a piece. I just need to fool them monks long enough to start bilking my followers. You know what? I think I'll help you. You? Mr. Squeaky Clean No Balls? Why? Because I think the simple, gentle wisdom of the Buddha may just penetrate your heart. Like water through cracks in stone. Whatever. But if you screw this up, I'm gonna crack you with a stone. All right, Jimmy. I'm calling in every favor you owe me. Help me whack this scumbag. Since when do I owe you any favors? He's disrespecting a Falcone name and he's making money off it. Which kind of makes me respect the guy. Cheech, what the hell are you doing? Phony Cheech is about to go to work for Industrial Light and Tragic. <gasps> Teresa, watch out! <coughs> it's okay, it's okay. Teresa's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need five more Canadians. All right, you moron. How'd you steal my face? Whoa, Cheech Falcone, what are you doing here? Hey, Jimmy! Since we're playing the name game, you mind telling us yours so we can put it on your tombstone? It's me, Enzo, uh, from Brooklyn. I narrow it down a little, I know like 50 Enzos from Brooklyn. Enzo Pistone. I ran Pistone's Pizzatoria. Uh, you guys ordered from me all the time. Why you into personating Cheech? Uh, it's like this. I always wanted to be a director in Hollywood, but who's gonna hire a guy that smells like anchovies? So take a shower. When you guys disappeared, I got an idea. I moved to LA, shaved my head, slapped on a mustache, and pretended to be Cheech. <laughs> what are you, insane? Why Cheech? There's no way I could pull off being you, Jimmy. I don't smoke. Anyway, I got a job as an advisor on mob movies. They call me Il Consultieri. The hell do you know about being a good fella? Nothing. I just tell them stuff I know from other mob movies. 
Bada boom, bada bing. I'm gonna shoot a you. I'm a shoot a you. You do realize there's a contract out on Cheech. So what? I'm in Hollywood. They're great at keeping secrets, especially once you join Scientology. What's this? <laughs> it's a sweet gig, Jimmy. I get free food, they pay me in cash, I got a fancy car to drive, and a hotel room you wouldn't believe. Congrats, Enzo. You just got some partners. He had me at free food. This is called a sand mandala. It's an exercise in the transitory nature of life. I guess it's pretty easy to impress them boobists. Mother f Why'd you do that? Now I gotta start over! Gina, the picture is no longer a picture, but the sand remains sand. Petey, use your freaking head! This kindergarten crap ain't gonna cut it. If we're gonna oppress these monks, we gotta do something big. Like a steak dinner and a couple of hookers. All right, Enzo, here's the deal. Me and Cookie are gonna spend a couple of nights here living in the laps of luxury. And I'm gonna live in your trailer. I mean, my trailer. And where am I supposed to sleep? They gave you a car, didn't they? I'm above the line. I can't sleep in my car like uh, some kind of teamster. Enzo, don't kid yourself. Your days in Tinseltown are numbered. I saw a clip from this flopperoni pizza you're cooking up. I'm -a gonna shoot to you. Don't look at me. It's them hack Hollywood writers. <laughs> much fun! I ain't been this relaxed in months! Exploiting another human being for my own amusement just melts the tension. Must be the bellhop with the new bed. Took him long enough. Oh! Uh, is that the guy whose car we hit with the TV? Nah, Canucks don't shoot. They just give you a respectful talking to. I think Hollywood Enzo ratted us out. You could have took that guy. I left my gun in my pants. Like you need a gun. True, but I don't fight naked. Learn that lesson from one nut nunzio. Ah! Turn around. I don't want the whole world seeing your cans in my sausage. Oh, memory foam really works. I'm still not tipping them. You tried to have me killed. What are you talking about? Don't act all innocent, you little rat. You called the mob on me, didn't you? Really? Why would I do that? I might be a liar and a faker, but I ain't no backstabber. If I was, I'd already be directing movies. Well, watch your back, Francis Fraud Coppola. Cause someone's after you. A guy just shut up your hotel room. Time for me to make my exit. If that guy went to the hotel, he'll probably go to my trailer next. Cheech! We gotta warn Cheech! Oh no, Cheech! My uncle, my friend, my bookie. That moon showed me 20 grand! <laughs> you happy now, pizza guy? You got my uncle killed! Sure, he might have been a moron, but he was my moron! Ah, Jimmy, there'll be other morons, you'll see. Not like Cheech, there won't. When they made him, they broke the mold. 
probably in shame, but still! I swear to God, if I had my gun, I'd shoot you. But as it stands, I gotta choke you. I don't know about gotta. <laughs> what did he do? Stay out of this, Cheech! Cheech! I thought you was dead! Dead? Ah, I just went out for some chewing gum and condoms. <laughs> Canadian gum tastes like rubber. <gasps> my own! My girls! They were all in there! Candy, Sherry, Brittany, and Ethel! Poor Ethel! She was ugly, Jimmy, but willing. So willing! <laughs> It's true! My little sister is the reincarnation of the Bali Lama! That's Ms. Bali Lama to you. How did you do that? Gina, you can't fool those monks. You're either the Lama or you're not. When them guys get here, keep your mouth shut, or the Queen of Peace is gonna cut you. Jimmy, we need to call McCool. No way! McCool's been on my case, and I don't want to rock the boat. I can handle this. But what if the hitman recognized us at the hotel? It was dark. We was naked. Trust me, he wasn't looking at our faces. I think I'm gonna go back to L.A. to focus on my directing career. If I ever get a movie, mate, I'll invite you all to the premiere. I'll need a plus four. Ethel and the girls are gonna need some cheering up when they get out of the burn ward. You ain't going nowhere. You're laying low here until we're sure that hitman's out of town. And the kids should stay home, too. Teresa! She's at work. James Cameron gave her a lift. Nice guy. Drives a submarine. <sighs> Ooh, pretty. Stop moving, stupid necklace! <laughs> Funny. Whenever I'm in this position, there's a necklace involved. Hello? Um, Daddy? There's a man here who says he's gonna shoot me unless you and Cheech give yourselves up. Oh, and did you know there's a guy on this movie named Cheech Falcone? Weird, huh? You tell that son of a bitch not to lay a finger on you. Hurry, Daddy. He's treating me real brutal. What did he do to you? He took away my chair and won't give me a latte. Man, that kid's really gone Hollywood. If bullets start flying, Cheech, you hit the deck. Enzo, you're my human shield. Okay. Wait, what? It means he trusts you. <laughs> Whatever it is, McCool, I don't have time. There's been a number of incidents, Jimmy. A hotel shooting, an explosion on a movie set. Please tell me you're not involved. Define involved. So, instead of reporting the possible breach of security, you exploit the situation for some cheap thrills. And free food. Don't forget the free food. I have to call in the special tactical team. This is going to cost thousands. Jimmy, I am so angry with you, I could... Jeez, I thought Canadians were supposed to be nice. And you can kiss witness protection goodbye. Even if we get the hitman, every good fella in North America will be gunning for you. Or will they? Gentlemen, I's got an idea. And? Spit it out, Scorsese. Jimmy, first rule of directing, dramatic tension. All right. I don't get it. <laughs> The High Priests apologized. The Vision was mistaken? No! The Vision was right! I'm the freaking Bali Lama, I swear to God! You guys believe in God, right? Because I'm him! Her! It! You need a mint. <laughs> Stupid girl, you're not the Bali Lama. You're the embodiment of evil. Ah, sh A 30 year vow of silence down the crapper. No! Oh, what did I do? I hope you get reincarnated as a tapeworm in a starving donkey. Gina, look! They had the right vision, but the wrong address. Should we tell them to come back? Nah, f that guy. 
Hi, Daddy! Hi, honey! We'll have you out of there in a minute. He says to drop your guns. First he lets you go. Guns first! Why don't he just tell us himself? He's self-conscious about his accent. And he likes my perfume. Wait! I believe this is the man you're looking for. You were sent here to kill Cheech Falcone, and this is Cheech Falcone. You bastard! You got my best friend killed! Again! So what? You morons ruined the perfectly good scam I had going. I'm gonna shoot you! They are all dead. Enzo, you might be a terrible technical advisor, but you are one hell of a director. Thanks, Jimmy. Looks like we're in the clear. The mob thinks you're dead, and I didn't have to report anything. All's well that ends well. Hey, what about me? I took a real bullet. Yeah, but you had a bulletproof vest. I took it off. It was clammy. Pistone Productions. What? Really? Oh, no way. Thanks. I just got offered a directing gig on a Canadian movie. Congrats, pal. Good luck. You should probably take him in. He knows too much about us. No need, Jimmy. He's directing a Canadian film. He'll never be heard from again. Saskatchewan, la 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 How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falco, alias McDougal. Before I moved to the not so great white north, I was a capo in the mob. Crime's been in my family for generations. It all started with my grandpa's Giuseppe. He was a shoemaker in the old country. Real handsome devil. Anyway, one day, the village Don asked him to make a pair of shoes. The Don believed shoe size was a reflection of his manhood. His size for manhood. He could have drove a big car or bought a frickin' boat or something, but the guy wanted big shoes. What are you gonna do? Personally, I'd have blamed the whole thing on gravity, but gravity wasn't invented back then. So Giuseppe had to skip town. By the time he got to the next village, he was met by fear and respect. Dante Respect and Luciano Fear had a family that needed some muscle. Giuseppe just whacked at dawn, so he seemed like a good fit. <laughs> All those years dealing with feet made him kinda homicidal, so Grandpops moved up the ranks pretty fast. Then, one day, he came to America. You mean he got run out of Italy? Point is, even though I'm living like a schmuck in Regina, I like to think he's looking down on me and smiling. And wondering why the hell you threw his family business down the crapper. You know what? Just forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. All right, scumbag. You think you can come onto my turf and just take what you want? Do you even know who I am? You got three seconds to get the hell out of here. Now, is that nice? I give you a chance to walk away, and you just laugh in my face. Did you just eat a condom? 
All right, enough screwing around. Say hello to my enormous friend. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Go home to your mother, you overgrown rat. Uh. To conclude my show and tell, if a man at the park asks you into the woods to find his lost dog, remember, there is no dog. <laughs> Good job, Mary. You go sit with Prudence the Safety Hippo. Gina, your turn. All right, let's get this over with. I want to talk about personal safety. There's a lot of creeps and weirdos out there. Not to mention stoolies, deadbeats, and guys who just don't listen. You gotta protect yourself. So, you're gonna need one of these. <gasps> She's got a gun! Relax, it ain't loaded. Now it's loaded. <laughs> All right, who took my facial stuff? No idea. Jesus Christ, you look like a 60-year-old avocado. Well, I took care of that raccoon. Sent him running with his tail between his legs. At least I think it was his tail. If not, you should see the wang on that rodent. Breaking news. Celine Dion Elementary is under lockdown after reports of a gunman holding a class hostage. That's Gina's school. Oh my God, we gotta get down there right now. No can do. This stuff takes 20 minutes. Jimmy, we gotta go. We gotta... Where the hell's Jimmy? What are you waiting for? Let's roll! Good question, Billy. Personally, I like to go for the knees, but if you gotta take someone out, give them two in the chest and one in the head. After that, he ain't getting up no more. Okay, any other questions? Besides, can I hold the gun? Aww. All right, we need firepower. Want to take the Uzis? Nah, I don't want to look like a show-off. I hate to say it, but shouldn't we just let the cops handle this? You worry too much. We know what we're doing. Shots fired! We need guns, damn it! I'm filling out the requisition as fast as I can! Get your ass in there! And take some grenades! I can't remember which classroom's Gina's. I only been here once for interviews, and I was pretty drunk. Who? There they go, Saskatchewan's finest. Fear not, Cookie, I came as soon as I heard. No time for pleasantries, I'd better get inside. But may I say, it's a glorious morning today. Damn it, McCool, there's no time. No shit. get in there and save my daughter. For Canada where we downplay our increasingly frequent gun violence. If there ain't any more questions, I guess I'm done. Ah! Oh. Ah! Gina, I've been looking all over for you. Oh, crap. You're the guy with the gun. Whoa, you brought shotguns? And a troll. This ain't good. We better beat it. Hey, McCool. You here for safety week? It appears you own a number of illegal guns, Jimmy. I'm going to have to conduct a thorough search of the premises. Do you have any idea the paperwork this is going to generate? Do you? You're blowing this way out of purport, purport size. Pop, this fell again. I told you it's too heavy to use as a curtain rod. Daddy, you left this in the bathroom. I almost dried my hair with it. Really? Both of you? Exactly now? Jimmy, I can't keep this under my mattress no more. Keeps poking me in my sensitive areas. Sweet Kiefer Sutherland, Jimmy. Why you gotta make such a big deal? It's just a few home security items. Just having that one within our borders violates the Geneva Convention. This is just like Chuck Heston warned us. One day the government's gonna show up and take all our guns. Next thing you know, we're in camps, getting brainwashed about evolution and global warming. I got a constitutionary right to bear arms. Yeah, you can't tell people what to do with their sleeves. Perhaps you possessed that right when you were American, but you're Canadian now. It's true, Pop. Canada's Charter of Rights and Freedoms does not protect gun ownership. Or as they say in Quebec, la Charte canadienne des droits et libertés ne protège pas la possession d'armes. I memorized it in both official languages. Now you're turning my own son against me. And you got him talking Spanish. Is this everything? You're not holding out on me, are you? Me? Hold out on a cop? Never! Then what's that slight bump on your waistband? I'm a little excited. 
Thanks for noticing. Lift your shirt, Jimmy. Is this how you get your kicks, McCool? You really ought to see a therapist. For Christ's sake, just hand it over! What?! You too? McCool's right. Like it or not, we're Canadian. Don't you think it's time you assimilated? No! I've had this gun since I was ten. No one's taken Remington Steel! Hand it over, Jimmy. What if I don't? Then I shall be forced to arrest you. You'll be charged, tried, convicted, then remanded to jail. The days will be lonely and the nights long. Until your cellmate, Rusty, sells you to the skinheads who run the yard. No amount of toilet-brewed prison wine will erase the memory of their oddly gentle love. You want this gun, McCool? You're gonna have to pry it from my cold, dead pants. Hands, Jimmy. I think you mean hands. Whatever, you're not getting it. I'm a responsible gun owner. Hey, where'd it go? I was just getting my rhythm. Ho oh, ho! Look who's back in town. Feeling strong today? Cause I got something for you. Oh crap! All right, let's do it the old-fashioned way. Put up your dukes, uh, claws, hoofs. What do you call them foot hands? All right, which one is first? Yes! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Well, kid, you really did it this time. They're gonna kick you out of school. Yes! Unless you take this medication. No! They put me on drugs? It's called a pacify. It reduces psychotic tendencies in children. Side effects may include dry mouth, disorientation, nausea, and increased thoughts of murder. Eh, well, I'm sure they wouldn't prescribe it if it wasn't 100% safe. Tell that to Mr. Flip. His ma took thalidomide. Look how he turned out. Mr. Flip turned out just fine. It's not his fault he's a monster. I ain't taking him. I don't like this either. But if you don't, they'll take you away from us and send you to a special school where you gotta wear a helmet. You always told me drugs was bad. This is medicine. It comes from a nice man in a laboratory. Drugs come from a bad man on the street corner. You mean like the guys who used to work for Pop? Quit stalling, kid. Pill or helmet, your call. There, you happy? Your daughter's a freaking druggie now. Yeah, congrats! You just won Mother of the Year. Oh, God, I hope this is the right thing to do. Ah! Ah! Don't touch me with that thing! Ah! <gasps> I just got rolled by a fucking raccoon. Ever since I got up today, I've been feeling off balance. And I got a persistent itch in my trigger finger. Don't you see, Pop? When you gave McCool your gun, you gave up an essential part of your American identity. You're right! Now I gotta steal it back. That's gonna be hard to do with no gun. Or you could finally embrace life as a Canadian. How the hell do I do that? By embarking on a long voyage of introspection and self-discovery. Self-discovery? Like what you were doing when I walked in here? No, I'm talking about a spiritual makeover. Did someone say makeover? What? My fashion sense was tingling. Jeans, jean shirt, and a jean jacket. It's a Canadian tuxedo. <coughs> These jeans are too tight. <coughs> ah! What was that? My balls just went back in. <gasps> and they're out. I still don't get why I'm tied up. I'm gonna teach you the most important part of being Canadian. You need to suppress your innate American urge for self-preservation and apologize to me. For what? Ow, you mother- It's the Canadian way. I wrong you, you say sorry to me. Ow! Ow! You're grounded. What are you doing? I'm using aversion therapy to turn pop Canadian. Me last week. That's for taking away my makeup. That's oh. for not letting me date a black guy. It wasn't racial. He was 40 years old. Oh. <sighs> Thanks, Petey. I feel a lot better. Sorry. Sorry. Really fing sorry. I believe we've made a breakthrough. What's going on, Petey? What's the big surprise? I present to you Canadian Dad. I don't get it. 
He looks the same, except he's dressed as a village people. Go on, Pop. Say it. Sorry. No, the other thing. <sighs> Forget about it. Oh my god, he's a whole new man! This calls for a celebration. You're finally a real Canadian. I'm so proud of you. What the f***? Hi, Mommy. Hi, Daddy. Guess what? I did all my homework. You did your homework? Uh-huh. And then I cleaned my room, and then I cleaned Petey's room, and then Uncle Chichi and me had a tea party. Who wants Huggy Boos? Gina, you feeling okay? Petey made you Canadian too? Oh, no, Daddy. It's because of the magic happy pills Mommy gave me. These rainbows are made of smiles, wishes, and good dreams. <gasps> Speaking of good dreams, I'm gonna skedaddle off to bed. Night night! Wow, I guess that Apacify stuff really works. If you want me to babysit tonight, I'm gonna need a bottle of whatever she's on. Jimmy, you didn't yell at the parking guy for scratching the car, you didn't send back that pink chicken, and you gave the squeegee kid a loony instead of running him over. Frankly, I'm blown away by the new you. Hey, we're standing in line here. Those were our tickets. Jimmy, do something. I got it. Sorry my wife yelled at you. Ah, oh, hold this. Here's your purse back. Keep it. Looks better on you. Some night out. I really wanted to see that movie, but no, Captain Canada here had to drive those mooks to the hospital. You're the one who wanted me to be Canadian. The Jimmy I know would have taken apart those line jumping jag offs. Being Canadian doesn't mean you gotta let people walk all over you. I didn't let them walk all over me. I took the high road. Yeah, the high road to Warsburg. I wanted you to give up your gun, not your entire freaking manhood. What are you saying? I ain't a man no more? Because if you want a man, I'll show you a man. Come here, baby. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> oh, there's my big, strong man. There's those big, strong arms. And there's your big, strong... Your big, strong... Give me a sec. Where are you, big fella? Well, let me concentrate. Come on, come on. Come on, what's the matter with you? Up. Come on, Sozich. Sozich, not a meatball. Sozich, Sozich. <sighs> we could just cuddle. Tonight on TBS, Matthew McConaughey in Failure to Launch. <sighs> hey, Jimmy, who died? What? I'm fine. You can't fool me. I know something's wrong. Spit it out. Well, I got this friend, see? He's having a little problem. Stop right there. Who's this f***ing friend? I thought I was your friend. Shut up. The guy's in trouble. You don't want to help? Get out of here. Okay, relax. I'm listening. All right, look. Not to get too specific, but let's just say my friend, who is not me, is no longer able to achieve or maintain a viable erection. Quit beating around the bush. What's your friend's problem? His ring a ding ding's got no dong. Ooh, why you gotta be so graphic? Okay, I got this. Old Cheats knows a thing or two about a thing or two. You do? Oh, yeah. There's a simple solution. Really? Thank God. Tell your friend to blow his brains out. What? That's right. It's over. He ain't a man no more. Tell him to make a dignified exit. You'll be doing him a favor. Jesus, I was mad at the guy. Now I just pity the poor son of a bitch. <sighs> Hi, Daddy. Can I nudge in there and brush Mr. Chompers? Sure, kid. Whatever. Oh, who's a big glummy pants? Let's see a smile, Captain Frowns a lot. Mommy, Daddy's being a grumpy puss. What's going on in here? Daddy's sad, Mommy. Do you think we should give him some of my magic happy pills? Huh, Mom? No! Those are for you. And not for much longer. Run along now. I don't know about you, Jimmy, but that kid's starting to freak me out. Leave her alone. She's happy. What's wrong with you? A little girl ain't a little girl no more. Can't you see that? Hey, she's Canadian. What do you want? Now, excuse me. I got to go pay protection to some raccoons. <laughs> What's wrong, Ma? Did you
did you see Petey's internet history? Worse. <gasps> he turned your father into a Canadian, and now he's not himself. You probably don't want to hear this, but our walls are real thin, and I know you and Dad are having a <coughs> intimacy problem. Oh, God, the thought of... <clears throat> you listening? I know this is going to sound wrong, but... <clears throat> But I think I can help. Not another <coughs> word. Teresa, this problem runs a lot deeper than what Oh, you're talking about? Ma, he's an Italian guy. It don't go any deeper than that. You need to make him jealous. When one of my boyfriends doesn't pay attention to me, I flirt with someone else. You should do that. Jesus, forgive me for talking to my daughter about this. Let me get this straight. All I need is some stud to slobber all over me. Jimmy gets jealous, turns into the gorilla that he is, and everything's back to normal? Exactly. And then we never speak of this again? Yes. <laughs> Please. But first... <laughs> we're going to confession. Normally I wouldn't participate in such subterfuge, but seeing as it's for Jimmy, count me in. All right, when Jimmy walks in, we're gonna be on the couch smooching and canoodling. I'll be rubbing your muscles. Don't worry, it don't mean nothing. <laughs> you might want to lose the shirt and oil yourself up a bit, big guy. <gasps> Cookie, get a hold of yourself. It's been a few days. My hormones are raging here. I'll behave. <gasps> Quick, get on the couch. Uh, uh. Oh no, my husband has caught us in a compromising position. Surely now he will be so enraged he'll beat the crap out of my lusty paramour. What? No one said anything about- And sweep me off my feet, carry me upstairs, and make angry, righteous love to me. Cook, what are you doing? Or he could skip the beaten up part and go straight to the hot, crazy baboon loving. Look, it's real sweet of you to try and snap me out of this, but you don't gotta debase yourself with this greasy Latin hustler. Jimmy, it's me! Uh Silencio, muchacho! This is between me and my wife, who I can no longer pleasure. Snap out of it! All of this because you had to give up your stupid gun? The gun was the last thing I had from the old life. I used to be Jimmy Falcone, king of New York! Now I gotta accept that I'm Jimmy McDougal, king of the schnooks. Jimmy, you're a lot of things. A good breadwinner, a loyal husband, a totally half-assed father, but you'll never be a schnook. Cook, that's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. And I wish it was true. Oh, for God's sake, he's killing me here. What do I gotta do to get through to this guy? Jimmy Into McDougal, fire? former oh, man. Gina, cars? slow down. Jump into a lion cage, put the kids in danger? What's that, Gina? You're in fire. danger? What do I do, McCool? Tell me. I gotta get down to the school. <laughs> Where's he going? What the hell just happened? I don't know, but this spray tan is giving me a tremendous rash. Took you long enough to get down here, you moron. Oh, what's with you? Why are you being so mean? I thought you was on them good girl pills. I never took those stupid pills. I've been faking it the whole time. What? Why? To get Ma off my freaking back. I've been dumping the pills in the teacher's candy dish, and Prudence, the safety hippo, got into them and went nuts! Hang on a sec, I'm not following. What's a hippo got to do with safety? <laughs> that is one angry, angry hippo. Come on, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Whoa, I think you killed them. You think? Let's make sure. Come on, one more. Okay, one for me, one for you. Oh, that felt good. All right, kid, I gotta go. You be good now. Good? I mean, you be you. Will do. You know, I kind of feel bad for the kid in that suit. Suit? Jimmy, what happened? I deserve that, Jimmy. Oh my god, you're you again! Did you get a gun or something? Oh, I got one, baby. And it's made of wood! La 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 
How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal. Used to be Jimmy Falcone. I may be living like a jerk in witness protection, but back in the day, I was a made guy. I was the head of a crew and no one could touch me. Basically, I had it made. It's a funny story how that happened. This one night, they told me to keep Don Gambini away from his house because his wife was throwing him a surprise birthday party. Everyone's acting all weird and secretive, Jimmy. I'm telling you, something's going on. If I screwed up the surprise, his wife would kill me. Literally. She was built like a lumberjack and she was real good with an axe. Anyway, I shall get going. We just got here, boss. At least finish your drink. Hey, look. Look at Cheech go. <laughs> I could swear I just finished that. The thing about the Don was he got jumpy when he drank too much. Who did that? I'll plug you, you rat! But I got him home in time, just like I was supposed to. I guess the surprise was on them. The Don took out so many guys that night, I wound up getting made. But if you think I still got it made here in Regina, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the Gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, someone's in a good mood. What can I say? The sun's up, the sky's blue, and me and Cheech are going to the track. My money's on third and the fifth. Who the hell names a horse third anyway? Isn't there something you want to say to me, Jimmy? What's for breakfast? No, something else. Um... Uh... Oh, right, you got your head done. Looks good. No, I didn't, you moron. You got no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Have a nice freaking day at the track. I hope a horse craps on you. Me too. It's good luck. You get the feeling Cookie was mad? What are you talking about? She said have a nice freaking day at the track, didn't she? Get a load of this. McCool's bringing me flowers. Don't be silly, Jimmy. These aren't for you. They're for Cookie. Hold up there, Kimosabi. You want to explain why you're bringing my wife flowers? And believe me, there's no right answer to that question. Ah, uh, Jimmy, your sense of humor is like a fresh breeze off the Canadian Rockies. Do I look like I'm joking? Seriously, tell me, because I can't see my own face. What a card you are, Jimmy. These are for Cookie's birthday. Oh, crap! Listen, you gotta help me out. Give me those flowers! Certainly not. I cultivated, picked, and arranged these myself. Well, would you look at that? Special Agent McCool remembered what Mr. What's for Breakfast over here forgot. Thank you, McCool. You are most welcome. Many happy returns, Cookie. For Canada, where no one forgets your birthday! Unless his name's Jimmy McDougal. Whoa, Cook, you got it all wrong. I know it's your birthday. I got a, a big surprise planned for you. Is that so? Well, I'm calling you bluff. Give me those. You're not pulling together some crappy gift at the last minute. Cook, I got a surprise planned like you wouldn't believe. Prepare to have your mind blown. Yeah? Well, prepare to never get blown again. I know a load of bullshit when I hear it. Jimmy, if we're not going to the track, can you let me out? Petey, why are my Cosmo pages all stuck together? Whoa. What are you doing? I realized what my biggest problem is when it comes to girls. That you're a complete loser? No, not that. The problem is, I don't know how to break the ice. So, I built a robot to do it for me. You sure that's a good idea? Last time you built one, it didn't work out so well. First rule of Robot Fight Club, build a robot. 
Second rule of Robot Fight Club. Program that robot to fight. Petybot is programmed to meet, charm, and disarm girls. Then I step in to seal the deal. Uh, that won't work. He's still you. Just wait until you hear him say something suave. Something suave. <laughs> Ooh, Petey, aren't you going to introduce me to your robot friend? Ew. So you forgot Cookie's birthday. Big deal. She has one almost every year. She'll get over it. Oh, yeah? Remember the time I spent in the hospital back in New York? Sure. When those jackoffs from the Venucci crew plugged you. It wasn't the Venucci's, it was Cookie. I forgot our anniversary and she put one in me. That was Cookie? Ah, right on. We went to war with the Venucci's over that one. I know. A lot of lives were lost, Jimmy. Yeah, I get it, Cheech. I mean, some of our best guys. Drop it, will you? Fine. I gotta get ready anyways. For what? I needed some me time. So, I got a ticket to this all-gal review. All gal review? You mean like strippers? Nah, it's classy. Dinner and a show. Like the nightclubs in the old days before they all turned into discus. Dinner and a show? That's perfect! Cookie loves that kind of crap. I'll order tickets right now. Give me a laptop. No can do. It broke. All right, let's see some nakeds. Holy shit, it's Chief Falcone! No, it ain't. Okay, it is. How you been, Carmine? I'm gonna get you, you stinking rat! Miss me, you son of a bitch! All right, listen. I've had a crush on her for weeks, but I've never been able to talk to her. Go introduce yourself, charm the pants off her, and set up a date. Affirmative. Remove. Girls. Pants. No, that's just an expression. Come here. I will charm the girl. That's better. Go get her! This is gonna be great. Goodbye, loneliness. Goodbye, Cosmo magazine. Goodbye, crinkly socks. <laughs> yes, it worked! No, it worked too well! How is she Frenching him? He doesn't even have a tongue. Broken hips and wrinkly lips, a geriatric review. I don't know how you did it, but this is definitely a surprise. I gotta admit, I'm kinda hurt you didn't trust me, Cook. Give me two. Good seats. Three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks? Man, I should become a scalper. Is that word offensive to you people? Not at all. Five hundred bucks. It's the wreck to me! It's the wreck to you! It's the wreck to me! It's the wreck to you! What a show! What? Huh? Oh, yeah! Bravo! I loved it! Mm. Especially that one song, Hot Flash Dance. I like the number where they fell and couldn't get up. It really spoke to me. Let's go backstage, Jimmy. I want to get an autograph. You coming? Nah, I'm gonna head home and see what I can do with the hole I blew in my laptop. If there's a tie on my door, don't come in. This job must be so much fun. When I was a kid, I wanted to be on Broadway. When I was a kid, I wanted to extort the unions on Broadway. <gasps> Jimmy? Uh... Are you Jimmy Falcone? What? No, you got the wrong guy. I don't know no Jimmy Falcone. Ah, crap, you've been recognized. Go call him a cool. All right, if it comes down to it and you got a whacker, get me an autograph first. Listen, lady, if I was you, I'd have a senior moment and forget you ever saw me. It's me, kid. It's you? You who? Me, your pop, Sal Falcone. Listen, you sick maniac, my pop is dead. And I'm not Jimmy Falcone. Drop the act, Jimmy. I know you're in witness protection. Don't worry. I'm not gonna rat out my own son. I hate to break it to you, Looney Tunes, but my father was a man. Not anymore, I ain't. Come here, kid. So, it's probably wrong that I have a boner right now, isn't it? Look, lady, I got no idea who you are, but there's no freaking way you're Jimmy's father. Yeah, my pop disappeared when I was 13. We all figured the Tortellini family off them. And I hate to keep hopping on this, but he wasn't abroad. I swear on the eyes of my only son, which is you, that I used to be Sal Falcone. Okay, Sal Falcone. What was my mother's name? Apollonia Maria Teresa Falcone. Lucky guess. What about her maiden name? Butchino. Not bad. Okay, so when was I born? A little too soon after the wedding, <laughs> if you know what I mean. 
This is crazy! Are you an actual woman or just dressed up like one? Uh, let me explain. Jimmy, I loved your mother. She was a beautiful woman. But deep down, I always felt like a broad trapped inside a man's body. Of course, the mob don't look too kindly on that kind of thing. I had to be careful. It was starting to affect my work. I couldn't stop. I started taking stupid risks. I knew if I got caught, my friends would whack me. So I left to start a new life where I could finally, surgically, become a woman. Since then, I've been living as Sally Monero. That's quite a... I mean, what? It goes down, down, down! Hey! hey what's the big idea? Ugh. All right, we've neutralized the threat. You're safe for now. I'll take her downtown, grill her, and assess the situation. Don't worry, Jimmy. Canada has your back. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Make mine a double, then double it. What are you doing here? I am waiting for my date. I'm the one who's supposed to go on the dates. You're supposed to step aside and let me jump in. When the time is right. When is that gonna be? Indeterminate. Need additional data. Come on, you're just jerking me around. Indeterminate. Need additional data. This is not what I programmed you for. Hide, here she comes. Your presence is agreeable. Is that a new hat? Aw, oh, come on! Should I jump in now? Not yet. Now? Not yet. Uh, now? Not yet. Uh, uh. Why did I make him anatomically correct? So, what did she say? Good news, Jimmy. There's absolutely no risk of her informing on you. In fact, she's in more danger from the mob than you are. You merely broke a blood oath that you swore on your life to uphold. She turned into a lady. They hate that. Mm. Don't be that way, Jimmy. She's a delightful person with a wonderful sense of humor and a sparkling personality. Don't get any ideas, big guy. So now what? Do you make her disappear or do I? Disappear? Au contraire, I suggest you spend some time with her before she leaves town. I too lost my father at a young age and not a day goes by I don't wish for a chance to speak to him again. To say, father, why do you care more about huffing gasoline and chasing Thai lady boys than you do your own son? But alas, I cannot. This is a gift, Jimmy. Open it. I think I'll just return it for store credit. Family is for life. All sales are final. For Canada, where it's not gay to be with a transgender! Hey! It's 4.15 and you're drunk? I had some soup at lunch and it was so good. And then a bunch of my friends were having soup and then I just got crazy. <laughs> crazy. That soup is so f***ing good. You know your robot is nailing anything that moves at school. What? He broke up with Sheila, then started seeing Jenna, and broke up with her and saw Anna for a while, and now he's fooling around with Kelly. Dude is a player. You should get in on that action. I'm gonna hurl. Listen, Buster. I programmed you to get me a girlfriend, not to bang every girl in school. According to PDBot's calculations, the only chance of you having a girlfriend is if PDBot has one for you. That's insane! What can I say? Players gonna play, haters gonna hate, yo. Hey, Grandpa Marcel, when you turned into a lady, did the operation hurt? What operation, kid? I went into a cocoon. <laughs> hey, whose car is in the... Gotta go. Not so fast, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god, Daddy. Your daddy is so much fun. You got lovely kids <laughs> here, Jimmy. <laughs> what the hell is he, she doing here? I went to apologize for getting her arrested. We got to talking, and I realized she's family. So what? Now every Tom, no Dick, and Sally who shows up is family? Give her a chance, will you? No, thanks. You get your ass over there and enjoy your goddamn family. No. Jimmy, where you going? Don't run out. What? Like you did to me? 
You're an asshole. Fall over! We need to talk! No! We got some things to work out. No, we don't! Come on, kid! We gotta deal with this! I don't gotta do nothing! Jimmy, can you... Hey! This ain't over, Jimmy! Damn it, I chipped a nail. That's for not calling me. That's for sleeping with my sister! That's from my mom! Your presence is agreeable. Oh, the guy's a machine! Police deny the helicopter crash had anything to do with a recent epidemic of teenage drunkenness. Hey, when is Grandpa Marcel gonna visit again? She's gonna show me how to off a guy with a scrunchie. She ain't coming back to this house. You kidding me? Why not? I don't want her around you. You're taking away the one woman I can actually learn something useful from. What? You're seriously robbing me of the only strong female role model in my life? I'm standing right here. Gene, I'm your father, and I can rob you of whatever the hell I want. Jimmy, that's enough. Don't listen to him, Gina. Go get yourself a cookie. What's the matter with you? Are you going to crap on everyone just because your father changed into a woman? Nah, that's his freaking business. What am I going to do, change him back? So what are you pissed off about? I'm pissed off because he left me. He never even said goodbye. Why? What did I do? Was there something wrong with me? Wasn't I good enough? Oh, Jimmy, it wasn't your fault. Jesus Christ, what is this, an after-school special? Hey, Gina, get down here. There's someone who wants to see you. Grandpa Marcel's here? Nope, better than that. I'm real sorry for yelling at you. So I got you a pony. What the hell I need a pony for? Because you're the best little girl in the world and you deserve it. I don't want a pony. Sure you do. It's great. You can comb her hair, have tea parties, ride her around. You don't know me at all, do you, Pop? Of course I do. What kind of a father would I be if I didn't know my little girl? Come on, give her a spin. I don't wanna. It smells like Cheech's room. Just try it, will ya? Here, over here. Here, boy. Here, horse. Here, pony. Come on, pony. Come on. Come on, you f***ing horse. <laughs> 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 you trying to kill me, Pop? What the hell's the matter with you? Have fun, sweetie! F*** you! I am a good father. Come on, I hate you! <laughs> sweetie? <gasps> Daddy, what are you doing? Just checking in with my favorite oldest daughter. How about things, kid? How's your life? Fine, but I'm kind of busy right now. Just wanted to see how you're feeling. A little weirded out. Are you dying or something? No, no, I'm just fine. And I'm never leaving you. Well, at some point you're gonna die. Look, nobody's dying. I'm gonna kill you, Jimmy! What the hell are you doing buying Gina a psychotic pony? What? I'm just trying to be a good father. You're already a good father, mostly. Stop trying to prove it before you kill someone. It's Sally you need to work things out with. Now go talk to her, you big dope. She's right, Daddy. Go do that right now. Like, immediately. Yeah, get your head out of your ass, will ya? <sighs> You're right. I should probably go talk to him. Her. Darren, you can come out now. Darren? Darren? <gasps> ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, pick up, pick up. It's an emergency, damn it. Hey. Oh, hey, Brad. Turns out I am free tonight. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm sorry, but for the good of those girls and the continued survival of my nads, I need to power you down. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Petey. Hasta la vista, Petey Bot. <coughs> Wrong remote. Forgot I installed that. I am sorry, Petey, but it is you that must be terminated. Why do robots always turn on their masters? Why do masters always anger their robots? No, no. Damn it, that's of no use to me. Violence is never a solution. <clears throat> okay, maybe under some circumstances. Hey, what's with all 
the racket. I killed Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. Okay, I'm bored. Pop, wait! <clears throat> You got the stuff, you got the money. Ow! Ah, the mother! Who's in your trunk? A cop? What the hell you doing, Pop? What's it look like? I'm selling weed. You kidding me? Hey, you can take the fella out of good fella, but that don't make him good. What the hell you doing here? All right, I don't like surprises. We're gonna have to plug you two. The hell you will. Pop, I don't care about you becoming abroad, but why the hell did you leave me? Wait a sec. This lady's your father? Yeah, I used to be a man. Deal with it. Do you got any idea how tough it was growing up without a dad around? What? You think it didn't tear my heart out to leave? You abandoned your own kid? That's unconscionable. Let's kill her. Wait, wait. I want to see where this is going. If I stayed and got caught, do you think you would have ever grown up to be a capo? Nah, you would have been a laughingstock. See? What choice did she have? Well, he could have suppressed his desire to be a woman and raised his son. That would have made for a real healthy father-son relationship. You better forgive your dad, mister. You mind your business. Yeah! Jimmy, can you ever forgive me? Yeah. After all, you was just looking out for me. I'm sorry I had to leave. Come here, you. <gasps> uh, I'm, I'm gonna go call my stepdads. All seven of them. Are you crying too? Don't look at me! <laughs> Pop, before you head out of town, let's enjoy the time we have together. I'd like that, Jimmy. Now, what do you say we take these Joker's guns away and kick the shit out of them? Way ahead of you, kid. Come here! <laughs> mm, this is delicious, Cookie. What is it? A little thing I whipped up called Pony Parmigiano. Say, who's the dish, Jimmy? Mind if I take a crack at her? Cheech, uh, I don't know if you want to... Hey, gorgeous. Are you a thief? Because you stole my heart. Cheech, you're hitting on your own brother. I'll take that as a maybe. Well, gang, here's to family. To family. family. To family. La 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 la